George had a conflicted childhood with his father, George III, who loved his son, but he also hated him as an heir. This led to a very restricted childhood, and when George came of age, he rebelled and threw himself into society. He was regarded as a handsome fellow, if a little chubby, eating and drinking to excessive levels, which led to his obesity in later life. He enjoyed the company of a string of mistresses, and his expensive lifestyle led to a very large debt of thousands of pounds, having to be bailed out by Parliament multiple times. He actually married twice, the first to Maria Fitzherbert in 1785. His marriage was deemed illegal by his father, chiefly because she was Catholic and this would have barred George from the throne, and secondly, as his father had not given permission for him to marry her. His debt situation led him to marrying his cousin Carolina Brunswick in 1795, as a condition of his father agreeing to pay off more debts than he had accrued. They had one daughter, Charlotte, born in 1796, but the marriage was not a happy one with Caroline eventually leaving to go to Italy in 1814. She would stay there until George became king. George, when he became king, unsuccessfully tried to divorce her and he refused her access to his coronation. She died in 1821. George could speak multiple languages and he was a great patron of the arts and with the help of John Nash, created his most well-known project, the Royal Pavilion in Brighton. In November 1810, George III became permanently insane, and shortly afterwards, George became Prince Regent in 1811. He had courted the opposition Whig party in his youth, and there was a fear that George would change his ministers to that party, but he actually decided to keep his father's ministers from the Tory party. The Whigs wanted to pull Britain out of the Napoleonic Wars, but instead, Britain stayed in the war, and Napoleon was eventually defeated in 1815. Thank you for watching this Six Facts video. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and share it with the hashtag TeamStockter. And if you like the channel as a whole, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you know when a new video comes out.